So having had an advantage over many folks out there in regards to being able to play this DLC early thanks to 2k, I can bring you guys what in my opinion is one of the best new farms in this game for all those new legendaries exclusive to the Guns, Love and Tentacles DLC and that's what I have for you today. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So having played through this DLC there are a certain few bosses which are generous with loot but almost all of them at the moment are truly bullet sponges and because it's real early days farming them for most people isn't as efficient as needs be in terms of actually making it worth your time searching for that loot. Yes you will be rewarded plenty of legendaries but bosses are bullet sponges at the moment so it will take you a while to get certain few legendaries. This farm today is fast, it's easy and although it's a rare boss spawn who isn't always there it's still 100% more efficient in getting that new loot than anything else I've come across so far. But like I said it is early days yet, don't be surprised in a few days if we bring you a new legendary farm but at the moment make the most of this because it is truly amazing. Now almost all the new legendaries I have have come from this one dude. He is super generous with that loot, I've seen new class mod, shields and weapons drop from him, some of which you can see on screen now. Now obviously there will be a couple of progression spoilers to come so if you haven't started the DLC yet and want to go into it completely spoiler free, leave now. So this rare spawn dude is relatively close to the start of the DLC, maybe 30 minutes in give or take and he's located within Curse Haven upon Silurgus. Here you can spawn into two fast travel spots, one is slightly quicker to get to him, the other has a ammo vendor machine right next to it. So Lantern's Hook is the closest and the one I use, so simply load in here and follow the path I take. Now within this area there are always enemies going to be here, some quite tanky to be honest too. But the one you want to look out for comes in via a fire portal in the back corner by this house. You will know it's him as he falls out the sky, the only enemy to do that here. His name is Amak I believe that's pronounced, he has a shield and two health bars, but with any powerful weapon you can kill him pretty quickly. The other enemies here though to be honest are more of a pain, but once you do kill him he does drop between 2 and 6 legendaries per time, which is amazing, the most I've got from any one boss from this DLC is 4 and it took me a while to kill said boss. I could have farmed this dude about 10 times within that same time. So yes once you kill this Amat dude, check that loot, quit out and load back in. Now like I said he seems to be a rare boss spawn so he isn't always here. So if you do get here and he isn't here, quit out and load back in. I'd say with my testings he's here 1 in 2 or 1 in every 3 visits. I mean I've had him spawn in like 5 times in a row, but on some occasions I ain't been that lucky and he hasn't spawned in for 5 times. But yeah for sure guys, at the moment this is by far the best I've seen in terms of farming that new loot. All those new pretty legendaries exclusive to this new DLC. So enjoy it people. Now you may want to get to a level 57 before farming this dude, just a thought. I mean getting to a level 57 is pretty easy, you can farm Grave Ward for XP, Claptrap Prime for XP, the Slot Shaft, there are many instances within this game where you can farm XP but I do recommend you get into a level 57 before you farm this dude because there's no point coming here at level 55 or 56, getting those legendaries drop, you move on and progress through the DLC story, you get to a level 57, all these weapons you had dropped from this dude become kind of useless. So yes, get to a level 57 before you farm this guy, just a thought. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video, I hope this helps you out, I really do. If it does, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.